let's talk a little bit about combinators, how we could end up combining selectors. So a couple of quick things here. Um, let's go ahead and put a style tag here. Again, eventually we'll pull these out into a style sheet. But for now, we're just experimenting a little bit. And if I was to go over here and say, well, if you're foo, you're going to have a background color of red. Not surprisingly, this block element has a background color of red. If I was to go over here and put in div foo, so what this is saying is not only are you a foo, but you're a div, which this is. And this still works the same way. Now, if I went over here and said, hey, look, actually, you're a span and a foo, this would no longer end up getting selected, right? So no spaces here. What this is saying, you are both of these things. You're a span and you're a foo. And let's just do one other thing here. Let's say we wanted to say you're also a bar and a foo, okay? So this doesn't meet that criteria either. But if we went over here and we said, hey, look, not only are you a foo, but you're a bar, so you satisfy both of these, I'll see that the background color is red. So we can end up combining things saying you are both of something. But we can also do something else that's kind of interesting. Let's go over here and let's put this in a div with a class of bar. And so now we have this nested situation here. And if I just went over here and I said, hey, look, if you were foo, you've got a background color of red, this would still end up being red. What if I wanted to say, hey, look, you're only going to have this if you are a... Um, if you are a class foo and you're underneath a div. So once you end up putting the space here, what you're talking about is a parent-child relationship. You're saying, hey, look, you're a selector. If you have a class of foo and you are underneath at some point, you don't have to be directly underneath, but you are underneath a div. And so this still is going to be a background color of red. If we went over here and said, well, you're underneath a paragraph tag that wouldn't end up matching. But if we went over here and you said, hey, look, we're under, you're underneath a body tag, well, that will satisfy that criteria. We could also go a step further. We could say, hey, uh, you are a class of foo, and you are underneath a class of bar. And this will still end up satisfying this. One of the things we could do as well is saying, not just that you're a descendant, but you're a direct descendant. Now, that's what this greater than sign is. The way that this ends up reading and the way that you should read it is to say, hey, look, if I'm a class foo and I'm directly underneath a class of bar, which I am, I'm going to be red. And we satisfy that condition. But keep in mind, if for whatever reason we decided to put another div in here, we're no longer going to satisfy that condition, but we would satisfy this condition. So the greater than means a direct descendant, where a space just means you're a descendant. And if you have no spaces, you're basically saying, hey, look, I'm both of these things. I am both a foo and a bar, which this doesn't satisfy. But of course, if we went over here and got rid of this and move this over, and again, it doesn't say which is first. It doesn't really matter. It just says you're both we'd end up satisfying the condition again. So all these things are known as combinators, basically combining different selectors.